In a lake, various types of lotuses were blossoming and were glorified in its beauty. And in a house at the bank of that lake used to live a couple, Rajendra, Raka with their young son, Gaurav. Raka. Gaurav's father, our son, has grown up. We should marry him. Rajendra. I wish that too. Raka. Our son is literate, hardworking, handsome, and he is also very nice by nature. He's one in a thousand. We should get a beautiful, gentle princess for him. Gaura. For whom are you looking for a princess, mother? What's going on? Raka. We're talking about you. You understand everything. Yet, trying to act as if you don't understand it. Gaurav. I don't want to marry yet. Raka. Then, when will you do it? After getting old? Gaurav. I will get married on the day when I meet the princess. Raka. Son, you will get a princess. It was night and everyone started sleeping. But today, Gaurav was not able to sleep, and suddenly, at midnight, he saw that a very beautiful and big lotus has bloomed in the lake. The lotus was emitting lights around itself, and suddenly, the light spread in the sky, and a spaceship started coming towards the earth. As soon as it reached the bank of the lake, a red angel came out of it, wearing a beautiful red cloth. She had an amazing face of great beauty, and Gaurav couldn't believe his eyes and started thinking. Gaurav, oh God, I've never seen such a beautiful woman before in my life. He kept looking at the red angel from the window of his house. The angel kept staring and roaming around the big beautiful lotus. It seemed as if she had a very deep relationship with that lotus. After some time, the angel sat back on her spaceship and went back to her house. Gaurav went near the lake and saw that the lotus slowly started to shrink and then became invisible. In this way, in the middle of every night, the red angel used to ride on her spaceship and came near the big lotus and roamed around it for some time and then went back. Gaurav was very eager to see the scene. The question kept arising in his mind. Why Red Angel would do this? What is the secret of this lotus? One night, for a very long time, the Red Angel didn't come near the lake flying on her spaceship, and the huge lotus had come up to the lake. Gaurav was eagerly waiting for the Red Angel. After some time, he got close to the lake himself and was watching the attractive lighted lotus. The petals of the lotus suddenly started to rise and reached the edge of the lake. And then Gaurav moved forward, reached the middle of the lotus, walking on the petals. Meanwhile, the red angel also came near the lake, sitting on her flying spaceship. Seeing the lotus petals on the edge of the bank of the lake, she couldn't resist, and she walked straight towards the middle of the lotus, while walking on the petals of it. Gaurav saw red angel near him, and became happy. Gaurav, you're here! I cannot understand the mystery of this huge attractive lotus. Do you know about it? Red Angel I know everything. 
We were both prince and princess in our past lives. You were the prince of Vijayanagar, and I was the princess of Sumanagar. During our marriage, I put the garland on you. The sage said that the prince, in whose memory I had disregarded him, would get away from me. I apologized to him and said, "Princess, hey, sage, I apologize to you. This is my mistake. I apologize with my hands clasped, and I beg you to take back the curse, please." Then he said, "Sage." Not in this life, but in the next life, you'll become an angel, and you'll find the prince you've dreamed of inside a magical giant lotus. After the union of the two, you'll become a princess from a fairy, and the magical lotus will give you a lot of wealth. Red Angel. Every day, I looked for the way to enter the lotus through the petals of it. Today, that auspicious day has come, and I found the prince of my dreams. The red angel became a beautiful princess, and Gaurav became a handsome prince. And the magical lotus provided both with a box filled with gold, silver, pearl, diamond. Wealth. Both were married with great pomp, and they lived happily.